Hey everyone, welcome to Bald Guy Money. On May 1st, I showed you this. This was the final step of math I did to say that if manipulation of silver is in fact as extreme as many people believe, the real price of silver could be between 88 and $116 per troy ounce. And that is the highest price for silver I have ever entertained on this channel. All the while, I receive comments regularly, some nice, some not so nice, insisting that the real value of silver is $1,000 per troy ounce. So we're going to settle it right here in this video. Once and for all, can silver actually get to $1,000 per troy ounce. Now, since this is a video that I really want many people in the silver community to see, I kindly ask you just to take a moment to hit the like button. And if you like this content, be sure to share it with more people out there. It will help get this message out to more silver stackers. Now, getting into it, anyone who watches my channel regularly will know that the ultimate decider of the price of an asset is the market cap. And for those of you who are new to this, that just basically means if we take all of this one thing, all the shares of Google, all of the gold that exists in the world, how much is it all worth together? And that gives us the market cap or market capitalization of an asset. So if we take a look at the top 10 assets in the world today, we see that silver is still in sixth position, valued at $1.2 trillion. That is the same place it was when I showed it last, which was a couple weeks ago, and that $1.2 trillion represents the value of all of the silver market, the entirety of it. And now, the question is, to get to $1,000 per ounce, what does the total market cap of silver have to be to get there? Or to put it differently, how many dollars have to go into silver for the market cap to reach a level where one ounce is $1,000? Because that is ultimately the question that we're asking here. To be fair, I am going to do two calculations. One looking at how we currently value silver, paper market and all, and a second calculation that takes a bit of data from my top silver stackers video, which assumes that there are roughly 5 billion ounces of physical silver out there in existence. So let's tackle the first scenario. And this is easy because if we divide our price target of $1,000 by the current price, which is $21.37 per ounce, we see that to get to $1,000, the price of silver has to increase by 46.8 times the current price. And since the price is a function of the market cap, all we have to do is multiply the current market cap by 46.8 to see that we need a total market cap for silver of $56.4 trillion to get us to $1,000 per ounce silver. Now, for people who are sitting there thinking, yeah, that, that's possible, that's realistic, that could happen, let me put four things into perspective for you. If we believe this narrative because gold and silver are money, then that means gold has to be valued around $1.1 quadrillion, assuming a modest 20 to 1 silver to gold ratio. It also means that silver would be worth 67% more than the entire S&P 500. Gold would be worth 825% more than the world's bond market, which is arguably based on an unhealthy fiat system that prints lots of money out of thin air. And finally, silver alone would be worth more than the M1 money supply of the G20 countries, meaning at that value, silver plus gold would be worth more than all the money and all the debt in existence. And just to give you the number, all of the debt currently existing in the world is estimated to be around $303 trillion. Now, I hope you're all seeing how quickly and easily the narrative of $1,000 per ounce silver falls apart 
when we scrutinize the numbers a little bit. But I know that there are those of you out there saying right now, if the total supply of silver is 5 billion ounces, because that's what I said in my, in my top silver ownership video, then silver only has to reach a $5 trillion market cap to hit the $1,000 per ounce level. And I give you that. That's a point I absolutely concede. In a perfect world where the price of silver is determined by physical settlement only, it almost sounds realistic until you ask yourself, where is the extra $3.8 trillion of market cap going to come from? Because that assumes you are going to get a lot of new people entering the market and most current silver owners holding their position even as prices rise dramatically. And the fact is we know that's not likely to happen. It's the law of supply and demand because all else being equal, once silver starts to hit triple digit figures, you will see more sellers enter the market. And why not? Let's be rational for a second. If the catalyst for this increase in price is the end of manipulation and the end of the paper silver market, and I have a stack of metal I paid an average of $10 an ounce for, and now I can sell that metal for $100 an ounce, all else being equal, a lot of people are going to start taking that offer. And that's why I think silver at $1,000 per ounce is nothing but a pipe dream. And I actually never really seriously consider it. And that's why you'll never hear me really talk about that price level for silver on this channel. And although my 2026 price target for silver is still $60 per ounce, maybe we will actually see this happen one day. Should we get to a place where silver is settled on the basis of physical metal rather than naked paper trades. And as much as I have criticized triple digit price targets on silver on this channel, the math is actually there to support the possibility, but it doesn't really support, again, as I said before, the $1,000 per ounce narrative. And that's because if you can hold the current market cap at the actual amount of silver that exists, you will reach a triple digit price point for silver. But again, not $1,000, not even close. And just to address my viewer question of the week, because this video was loosely based on that question, here it is. And Todd Braddock asked, with the current price manipulation of gold and silver, how long do you think it will be before the true price of gold and silver are realized? Also, what might those values be in your opinion? So Todd, I hope this video answered some of your questions, at least on the price side of things, because when it comes to timings, I am not ready to change my current assumption, at least for silver, because that's what we're talking about in this video. And my price target, as I mentioned earlier, is $60 per ounce by 2026. And that's it for this video. I thank you all for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe if you like this content. It really helps me a lot. And until next time, take care, everybody.